What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is Jason. In this video, I wanted to go over the process I used on the job search slash job hunt to becoming an iOS developer. Maybe it'll be helpful for you. Maybe you guys could uh, gain something from it. I just wanted to share kind of my approach. So for the job search, I knew that I needed to make sure I learned like the fundamentals. And I also knew I needed to get my portfolio set, my resume set, and my GitHub. So those three things. Make sure my knowledge is right. Portfolio, aka my personal projects were set. My GitHub was set up and I had some of my projects on there as well. And I was just trying to make sure my GitHub was active. I think at the bottom of your GitHub, you can see how many pushes or commits somebody made throughout the year. And it's good. It'll be good for them to see that, oh, you're active on GitHub. You're actually coding. And lastly, my resume, aka CV, because you, of course you use that to apply to jobs. All right, so how did I approach the job process? So my primary focus was learning and building out my skill and my swift knowledge because I knew fundamentally those would be the important things that got me the job and allowed me to stay right at the job. So I kept doing that since I had no job at the time and this was one primary focus. I'd pick like one day out of the week and that would be the day I focused on just the job search. And the other days would be like learning certain topics or building out my portfolio projects. And that one day of the week where I picked to uh, apply to jobs, that's the only thing I would do, just apply, apply, apply. And also if I, um, if I had recently finished like a new uh, project or learned a new topic or a course or, or something like that, I would iterate and update my resume, LinkedIn portfolio, all those to reflect the new, um, the new knowledge and changes. And something I did as well, because when you're doing this, you're going to get rejected a lot, <laughs> like a lot. And sometimes you won't even get like an email. So my approach to it was like volume. Like I was just applying everywhere and just seeing what would uh, stick, which is a good approach. I would say at first, like, because you, at least you get interview experience and that's very valuable. Like inter interview experience is super valuable. And at the time I felt like gamifying it made it easier and what i mean by that is so i would on the days where i was just applying to jobs i would see oh how many jobs can i apply in one day that'd be like my goal for that day and it would always be to like try to apply to more than i had previously and i think the most i did in a day was like 50 ish or something like that maybe 60 70 i don't remember <laughs> and that was one of the the approaches i made and also I was keeping track of all the jobs I've applied and I wanted to see how many rejections I could get. I made that again. That was my game. I wanted to see how many companies could reject me before I actually got a job. And I think I lost track around like 500. Yeah, and that was my approach. Just setting out certain days to apply. And that's all that was being done that day. And the other days were focused on learning and putting on my personal projects. Because at the end of the day, what's going to get you the job is pretty much a portfolio or like your application and your actual knowledge and both of those will get you the job and of course you have to be like personable right? <laughs> like if you don't talk at all then that'll be hard right <laughs> but assuming you have that then it'll just be your knowledge and your portfolio because your portfolio aka your application all that stuff is what they'll look at before they even consider interviewing you and then in the interview your knowledge and just how you present yourself will be what secures it for you and during the process let's say i got an interview the whole week leading up to it was all about prepping for that so whether that was interview questions or maybe just reviewing all the ios interview uh, topics that there can be and still working on my portfolio projects because more likely than not those will come up in the interview so it'll be important to be able to talk about what you're dealing with currently in your project like if there's an issue that you're working on or is there a problem you just solved and that'll be really good especially if like you can elaborate the issue or the problem you're solving and you could do that really well and you're like enthusiastic about it since it's something that you're working on right now yeah, and and don't forget to take breaks too because of course it's all about learning coding and trying to actually get the job right or become a developer but at the same time don't burn yourself out because the worst thing that you could do is probably that because you'll burn yourself out and then you'll stop and you'll lose all the progress that you made thus far so it's important to take breaks and actually reflect on the progress you've made because you see oh wow 
I have come a long way because now I'm able to build all these apps or these portfolio projects, whatever you're working on. When before, when you barely knew how to create an app or print a line <laughs> in uh, in Xcode. So I hope that helped any aspiring iOS developers out there. If you're on the job hunt, if you're applying, I know it could be a grueling process and it's it's a tough one. You're going to get a lot of rejection, a lot of rejection. Just keep at it and don't get discouraged. And, you know, there's always ups and downs, but just staying consistent will get you there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know down below if, you, uh, if you're on the if you're in the job hunt and if you're an aspiring hours developer, let me know how it's going. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions and my door is always open to help aspiring iOS developers. So hit me up, check out the Patreon, check out, check out Twitter and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.